Hello guys, good day to all, a pleasant morning. This is Mike Padawan, we're back to our latest update. This is the uh, weather analysis. And this is for today, February 6 to 8, 2025, Thursday to Saturday, English version, for you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakini Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. And let's proceed with our update. We have another surge of the Northeast Monsoon, concentrating over the uh, northern and central portions of Luzon, not yet affecting the Bicol region, but within the next two days, this will start to bring some windy conditions across our region. And uh, we have also here a developing shear line, which is expected to bring uh, another round of rainfall. Let's hope that it won't be heavy compared to the past uh, shear line uh, activities but uh, uh, we must be prepared for any eventuality when it comes to the rainfall brought about by the next wave of the shear line we expect uh, uh, rainfall activity uh, later today and uh, to friday then we will have a weekend of uh, uh, isolated rain showers then sunday Monday or Tuesday, there might be another segment of uh, light to moderate to at times heavy rainfall. So we should be prepared for that outcome in the coming uh, days. But let's hope that it will still change. So we will let you know as the weekend approaches. And uh, it was surprisingly... Uh, observed for the past few days that there is a low pressure area very close to the equator to the southeast of Mindanao this is LPA 92W but the good news of this LPA it's not expected to intensify into a tropical cyclone and uh, it's just uh, a low probability system and right now it's beginning to uh, disintegrate when we look at the latest uh, satellite in a short while it is embedded within the near equatorial trough uh, this our cloudiness convergence near the equator and we have here the first glimpse of the intertropical convergence zone so low enough okay but it will just bring showers and thunderstorms over the Marshall Islands and the eastern portions of Micronesia. So let's go back to the northeast monsoon. Uh, Luzon, particularly in northern and central portions, Cagayan Valley, and the eastern sections of uh, uh, northern Quezon, Aurora, will have also the eastern sections of Aurora Ecija will have some cloudy conditions and uh, slightly cooler temperatures with. Uh, light to moderate to at times strong uh, winds from the northeast of uh, 30 to 60 kph and it will become more windy over the west philippine sea panatag shoal and Klayan island group the rest of spratlys because of this northeast monsoonal flow this is the uh, uh, one that's causing it the this this is the one that's causing the uh, northeast monsoon to be enhanced, the high pressure cell. And we have uh, a, a couple or a few uh, tropical cyclones over the uh, South Pacific and the South Indian Ocean, which is also enhancing this wind system to pass over our country. So we expect until Tuesday, we will be having the effects of the northeast monsoon or Amihan and some... Uh, on and off passage of this uh, uh, developing shear line so we will uh, uh, observe this system in the coming days now we have here the fast animation so there you go the LPA is uh, earlier it's here but it has been uh, uh, relocated somewhere here so this is the LPA right now it's quite disorganized but this LPA is starting to move towards the west and we have here uh, the intertropical convergence zone 
while here up is the northeast monsoon and uh, somewhere here is the beginning of a uh, shear line somewhere here in the next couple of days so we are going to observe that uh, through Friday let's hope and fight let's hope that the rainfall will not be strong enough to produce massive flooding so we'll keep you updated now right now it's uh, let me see the time 6 30 in the evening uh, this is the satellite animation beginning 6.30 until uh, 11 p.m. this evening. It's now 12.30 early morning of February 6. And here's now the uh, first glimpse of the developing shear line. It's still embedded within the northeasterly and easterly wind flow. And here's the uh, latest 24-hour uh, rainfall accommodation. So this is for today, Thursday. Uh, February 6th, so we expect uh, some uh, rainfall of 30 to 50 millimeters along the eastern sections of Bicol region, Partito District, Eastern Camarines Norte, Eastern Albay, Eastern Sosagon, Northern Samar, and Eastern Samar. So these areas, we will change it to uh, blue. Okay, so let me uh, replace it. So, this is the area that will be experiencing light to moderate to at times heavy rainfall, becoming more frequent here over Catanduanes. So, Fox down there over eastern Catanduanes, prepare for 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall, and please take all necessary precautions against flooding and landslide beginning today, Thursday. And this will persist until Friday, and it will extend or move into the Eastern sections of northern Kazan, including southern Kazan, will be affected by this on and off rainfall or isolated discarded rainfall due to the developing shear line. So this is the shear line that is expected to develop. And uh, look at this rainfall. The rainfall here, let me change the block here. There are some more than 100 millimeters, especially over the eastern uh, Katanduanes area. But the rest of Bicol will be around uh, 20 to uh, 50 millimeters, at times up to uh, 100. That will be uh, on Friday, okay? February 7. Now on Saturday, uh, the shear line will start to uh, migrate more to the north, just affecting Camarines Norte and the coastal areas of Partido in Camarines Sur and Eastern Catanduanes and uh, the upward and westward movement of the shear line will likely to affect uh, central uh, portions of central Luzon including Metro Manila becoming more intense with more than 100 millimeters of rainfall along uh, northern Quezon. Look at this up to 200 plus millimeters of rainfall so Let's hope that it will still change, but please take all necessary precautions against flooding and landslides. Also here, across uh, the uh, eastern portions of Oriental Mindoro, to the eastern and northern portions of uh, Mount Halcon, expect some light to moderate to at times heavy rainfall of 50 to 100 millimeters. So by Saturday, the, the rest of the Bicol region, except for those areas of in Camarines Norte and uh, the coastal uh, areas of uh, Cam Camarines Sur along Partido, the rest of the Bicol region will have uh, rainfall of uh, less than 20 millimeters. So it will be uh, back to normal. But on Sunday, February 9, there is another developing shear line to the east of Samar that will strengthen. And uh, the eastern sections again of the Bicol region will be experiencing uh, rainfall of 50 to 100 millimeters and on uh, Monday that will spread across the whole Bicol region and into uh, Mindoro, Romblon, Marinduque area, Masbate included and uh, the northern portions of Panay. So uh, that will be on Sunday through Monday and uh, it looks like it will still persist through Tuesday February 11, affecting eastern Bicol region and moving upward again. And uh, northern Quezon, Aurora, 
Pulilio will also be affected by this back-to-back uh, uh, -back shear lines. So uh, uh, this forecast of uh, more than five days, because if we count it, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, one, two, three, four, yeah, more than five days it is still highly uncertain. So let's hope changes will occur. But let's be prepared with this new set of rainfall generated by the return of the shear line. And that will be this Friday and uh, after weekend. So likely Sunday through Tuesday, February uh, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so uh, take all the search precautions. As for the wave forecast from windy.com, it looks like uh, today, oh, let me move this. Mm -hmm. Today, yeah, Thursday, wave heights across the East Philippine Sea will reach a high of uh, 4 meters, while over the West Philippine Sea, it will be below 2 meters, except for the areas to the west of Bashi and Balintang Channel, up to 3 meters. The inland waters of our country, mm, that includes Lua Archipelago, Sibuyan Sea, Bisayan Sea, Bohol Sea, Kagai Gulf will have wave heights of uh, uh, 0.2 to uh, uh, 1 meter. So suitable for fishing and sea travel except for the East Philippine Sea, which is rough and dangerous to all types of sea vessels. Friday, nothing changes. Saturday, February 8, it will be more uh, mm, wavy, okay? More uh, increasing uh, wave heights. This time it will reach a high of 5 to 6 meters over the west and east Philippine Sea to the west and east of Luzon, okay, while to the east of Bicol region and the eastern Visayas up to the east of Mindanao, it will be around 2 to 3 meters in wave heights, okay, while to the west of Palawan, it will be around 2 to 3 meters as well. So, uh, again, the uh, central waters of our country will remain uh, calm to light and suitable for fishing and sea travel except for the two portions of the Philippine Sea. Sunday the same and it looks like on Monday and Tuesday the wave heights will remain uh, large across the Philippine Sea either to the west or to the east reaching heights of uh, up to 5 meters here to the west, uh, to the east Philippine Sea and uh, to the west Philippine Sea, it will be st uh, still uh, moderate to rough and dangerous to small and medium sized sea vessels. So, if you're willing to have some fishing activity and sea travel, just take the central portions of, uh, I mean, the central waters of the Philippines. So, right here. Uh, yeah. Okay, before we leave you, let's take the, check out the latest Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center issued yesterday, Wednesday, February 5. And uh, this is valid for the next two to three weeks. For week two, valid for February 12. Moving into uh, uh, the time of Valentine's Day. That will, that's a Friday, Friday next week. The Philippines will remain more than 50... I mean, more than 50 to some areas, more than 65% of above average rainfall because of the ongoing wet phase of the modern Julian Oscillation and the uh, weak La Nina. While to the southern hemisphere, we have tropical cyclone formation to the east of Madagascar, tropical cyclone formation to the north of Australia. Now, on week 3, which is highly uncertain, very low probability, valid February 19 to February 25, Southern Philippines will be more than 85% or 80%, more than 80%, uh, <clears throat> Southern Philippines will be more than 65% of above average rainfall. So, uh, take all the set precautions with uh, the on and off rainfall produced by the easterlies, the shear line, and uh, that will be until the end of, likely until the end of February. Okay, so that's the latest 
as we speak of the modern Julian Oscillation is the latest from the Climate Prediction Center as well of the uh, National Weather Service of US so uh, uh, between February 5 to February 19 right now the uh, sh the uh, wet phase of the modern Julian Oscillation is over the Philippines and into the Western Pacific so we expect uh, some wet conditions but uh, as we move into February uh, 19 it will slowly the wet phase will slowly uh, fade and we have now a new dry phase approaching uh, the area of the maritime subcontinent Indonesia and the uh, Indian Ocean so we expect a little drier once again another break coming after this uh, series of rainfall due to the shear line and weak La Nina. So there you go. That's the latest for today from our uh, Typhoon 2000 headquarters and from Naga College Foundation as well. And we will return again this weekend for another update. So please take all necessary precautions for the uh, possible return of the shear line. Check out the latest from Pagasa. There will there might be another rain outlook this weekend. Again, uh, this is Mike Padua saying uh, uh, good day to all and um, stay safe always. Thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.